All right, I'm going to work on a little bit of the background now. Some of this is dried. So I want to get some of this. This is just um, background here and here. But I don't want it to be white because it'll help some of that pop out. So I'm going to, just like I've done so far everywhere else, I'm going to add a little water. And add a little ink. And uh, places where it's too dark, I can blot some of that up with my clean paper towel. really like the way that looks right there. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but I just flicked a little bit of paint here and there, little dots. That's all good. I like them too. Here's some more. It's good for a little energy, a little spontaneity, make it look like it happened faster when it really didn't. Even though, again, uh, even though this is a white styrofoam cup, it's not really white right here. It's kind of really light gray. So add just a little wash to it, the dirty brush. Same thing kind of over here. It's not really wet. I mean, not really uh, white. So I want to build up a little bit more ink right here. It's kind of dry, so I'm going to build ink on my brush. It's pretty dark. I'm going to wet, kind of wet it down. Add a little more water to kind of blend it out. A little more water. You were probably wondering when I was going to do this part. I don't want it to touch this. So I'm going to leave that rim right there alone. This is kind of gray. So I'm going to make it gray right there.
add just a little bit of ink. Too much ink, add more water. Not enough ink, add more ink. Too dark, blot it with a paper towel. A little out of the lawn right there, so I'm gonna blot it real quick with this paper towel. I believe the gesso that I prepared this paper with helps keep it from staining the paper. Like this, uh, this ink doesn't stain the gesso as fast. And so if I mess up like I did right there, I can blot it and get it out of there. If I had done that on paper, it would have stained that paper like instantly. And that would not have been an option. Right there. Got out of line a little bit. Blot it. Good to go. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but one way to make an area look lighter is to make the area next to it look darker. So like this right here didn't need to be white. So I hit it with a little bit of uh, ink, but then it made it the same. So I'm darkening this up a little bit now. So it'll look a little bit lighter. So that that'll look a little bit lighter and this will look a little bit darker. 